worldwide, millions of Christians are persecuted for their faith. Every year, Open Doors publishes the World Watch List to focus the world's attention on those 50 countries where Christians are persecuted the most. These are the five countries where the persecution of Christians is most severe. Position 5. The government is determined that Sudan should become a fully Islamic country and tries to force Christians out. In the north they have imprisoned pastors and demolished churches. In the south they are waging a war against non-Arab, mostly Christian people and have bombed churches, schools and hospitals and have destroyed civilian homes and farms. Position 4. Christians in Pakistan experience much violence and various forms of attacks. Blasphemy laws also give Islamists the opportunity to put severe pressure on Christians. If a Christian is accused of having insulted Islam in any way, his or her life is in danger. If such Christians are not sentenced in court, Islamists will do their best to kill them when released. Position 3. All Afghan Christians have a Muslim background. As soon as it gets known that a Muslim has accepted Christ, he or she will face opposition from family and society. The convert will be threatened with death and may even be killed by family members. Position 2. In the region known as the Horn of Africa, if a Muslim decides to become a Christian, he risks death at the hands of family and local clan leaders. Islamic Al-Shabaab militants also actively search for Christians and usually kill those they find on the spot. For the 15th time in a row, North Korea is ranked number one on the world watch list. The regime considers Christians enemies of the state. Owning a Bible puts whole families in danger, and tens of thousands of Christians face death in labor camps. At the same time, underground churches are growing, and in secret, the gospel is spreading in North Korea. Behind the figures of the World Watch List, there are many stories of Christians who had to go into hiding. Open Doors gives a voice to persecuted Christians and calls for prayer and support. Visit our website and find out how you can help persecuted Christians.